Yo, what's up guys, Sitchiko Golden here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, we're going to be playing with the Faster Cycle Expo deck in Clash Royale. A couple of days ago, I did a similar video where I played with the Faster Cycle Golem deck. Lots of positive comments, lots of support, so thank you guys so much. I also had a lot of fun, yeah, recording the video. Hopefully today's video is also going to be a banger, and I would say let's just hop into the first match right away, and let's see what we can get going with this 2.0 average Alex cost quick cycle expo deck okay let's start off by cycling our evolutions we're running evil skellies plus evil ice spirit by the way i have all the one elixir cards i have a one two elixir card which is going to be the lock and then i have a champion to have a three card cycle in um yeah the deck in general okay let's see what he's going to be running looks like he has night witch looks like he has night could be a lot of stuff i'm gonna just check that here with an um okay looks like he does have the void spell as well oh my god please don't tell me that this is gonna be giant void spell that would actually be really rough because we have okay it is indeed gonna be giant void spell we can go skeletons and he kind of went aggressive there so we can maybe get a lot of value even with a firecracker at the bridge here i don't think he has much elixir right now let's actually go with expo knowing that the void spells out of cycle knowing that giant is out of cycle what is he gonna drop here to defend this um expo push oh my god please tell me that we can no okay we cannot go with ability anyway still a pretty good situation we can maybe go with ice spirit here and hopefully we can protect this expo long enough where it can lock onto the tower exactly and get a little bit of chip damage here okay i would say pretty good connection it's still gonna be an extremely rough matchup guys it's not like um yeah i'm happy about facing giant especially giant knight and he also has um okay let's go spirits here to distract the guardian if not the guardian is gonna get a lot of damage and then he also has the firecracker which is another card which is annoying we also saw it with the expo uh, or excuse me with the golem deck and now with expo i don't think it's gonna be any different Okay, let's go ability here let's then go with the hill spirit just to create some pressure maybe force out some um yeah more elixir in this case we force out the night witch and we force out the firecracker which i think is pretty good um we spent a this amount of elixir but he also spent quite a lot of elixir okay let's see if we can activate the king tower that will be amazing to be honest okay let's see nice we do end up getting the activation so that's really good for us of course afterwards the king tower activation can help um yeah defend for example better a giant or just any troop really okay what is he gonna do i think i'm gonna pressure opposite lane perfect okay good timing let's see if we can afterwards maybe get value out of the evil skeletons wait is he gonna like void spell what is he gonna do let's go fire spirit here let's go e spirit here as well let's then go with a lock and then i'm just gonna yeah let this be for now okay let's go evil skeletons left side we need to be careful because he does have the firecracker okay uh little prince is gonna die we need to be careful here we need to be careful guys okay let's go evil ice spirit let's then go with little prince here let's then go with e spirit let's go with skeletons off to the side let's then go with uh, ice spirit here as well let's go fire spirit let's go heal spirit i don't know what's happening right now but i think we're gonna lose the tower please someone save me how are we gonna defend this okay king tower is gonna help a little bit skeletons are dpsing down the giant let's go with a fire spirit let's go with the ice spirit let's go with the heal spirit let's go with all the spirit possible and then we also have to sacrifice the evil ice spirit there okay how are we still alive can we still win this let's go expo towards the right side let's go evil skeletons on defense let's then go with a little prince up high expo is gonna lock onto the tower and that's amazing oh my god we need to keep the expo alive for as long as possible so the expo can get the tower on the right side please tell me it takes the tower he's laughing and oh my god how did he just lose that i'm actually gonna give him the wow because he had a uh, giant he had knight he has such a good matchup and then he still managed to lose against the 2.0 Average X cost expo quick cycle and then i don't even know how we defended on the left side like he had a double giant push with the night witch we were out of dagger dashes we had yeah, basically nothing there to stop his push and then we still somehow survived just cycling like crazy all the spirits um get on defense okay that was a crazy match to start off today's episode let's hop into the second match right away let's start off with the expo here aggressively just to find out what is he gonna be running what does he have against the expo in this case he has uh, a mortar okay let's go e spirit here last second unfortunately um phoenix is gonna look on top of the expo maybe i should have waited a little bit there okay and let's then go with a fire spirit here hopefully the fire spirit plus the dagger dash you know the dagger dash is out of ammo so the bandit is actually gonna dash on top of the tower and also get a shot on top of the tower so not the best start there but anyways i think we still should be fine let's see what he's gonna drop here against the expo looks like he goes with a barbell looks like he goes with a knight we should be able to protect this um the expo quite well here let's go skeletons and let's go with e-spirit and i'm also gonna go lock here um trying to get rid of the firecrack as soon as possible so the expo gets a look on top of the tower and this expo should be able to get a decent amount of damage okay nice pretty good damage there to be honest i think that was definitely worth it to protect it as we did and here we can just cycle another expo only one minute passed and we already used um i think three expos right yeah i think we already played three expos and as i said only one minute has passed so far so that's crazy let's go with evil skeletons unfortunately the royal giant does end up going down but wait a second wait a second look at the evil skeletons guys he has nothing okay he does have the barbell now he didn't have barbell and cycle yet so he had to sacrifice his bandit as well and here i think we should be able to cycle back to a second expo 
and maybe get a lot of damage. So he has Royal Giant, Knight, Mortar. Interesting there by him. Haven't really faced a deck like that before, to be honest. Okay, let's go Esprit here to distract the Firecracker a little bit. And then I'm just going to cycle here towards my um, X-Bow, exactly. Okay, let's go with X-Bow. Let's go with Ability here to damage this Knight. Please tell me that the Ability does pop. There you go. And then the X-Bow is still quite healthy. Oh my god, I think the X-Bow is going to look into the tower. It is indeed going to look into the tower. And that should be a lot of damage for us, guys. Let's go Spirit. Let's go with another Spirit, making sure that we protect the X-Bow as long as possible. And then here, the, uh, um, the X-Bow leaves the tower to 703 HP. Okay, perfect. Looking really good, to be honest. I mean, we got so much damage already. He does have pretty good defenses against the expo but so far we're doing a really good job at pressuring here we do need to bring our focus okay, i'm actually not a big fan of this expo here i think here we might be in a small problem or maybe even a big problem i think let's see what happens though let's go with esprit here let's go with skeletons off to the side let's then go with a lock here as well um and then hopefully that's enough okay that's not gonna be enough to fully defend but let's see what happens okay nice good timing with the rage let's then go with a lock here on defense as well please tell me that the skeletons somehow stay alive they do stay alive and then we're still Okay, we are able to kind of defend, but not yet yeah, defend as much as I would have liked, to be honest. Okay, let's go Expo here offensively. Let's then go with Fire um, Little Prince here as well. Let's then go with an ability. Let's go with Lock to kill the Knight. And then we just need to somehow get an Expo connection now. Or if not, it's already going to be game over. Okay, please tell me it's going to lock onto the tower. Let's go Fire Spirit here. Let's then go with Lock to try and get the Expo off the tower. But I think it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be game over. There's no way. I actually choked that so hard. I think if I played that perfectly... Whenever we got the damage, I should have just went defensive mode with the X-Bow. I think even though he still had like 700 HP or something on his tower, I think if I just went defensively with the X-Bow cycling lock, um, maybe even just yeah, fully defending and then wait until the time runs out, I think we would have been able to get the W there. I just kind of played yeah, really bad. I kind of got hyped up. I'm not going to lie. Whenever I saw that we were winning by so much damage, that was definitely a huge mistake by my. But anyways, no problem. So far, we're doing pretty good. Especially the first game was crazy against the Giant Void deck. Okay, let's hop into the second match right away. I'm again going to start quite aggressive. Let's go with Ice Spirit here to protect the X-Bow. Then the X-Bow is going to lock on. Looks like he doesn't have anything in Psycho. He needs to fire, uh, not Fireball. He needs to Poison plus Barbell. And then the X-Bow already gets so much damage. More than 1,000 damage already dealt with the X-Bow. So, I mean, I don't know if he has, yeah, just nothing against X-Bow. Or we're just fully starting handed this guy. Could also be a, a thing. Okay, let's go Little Prince here into his Little Prince. I don't know what he's going to be running. He has Skeletons, Poison, Barbell. Plus Little Prince. Could maybe be um, an Expo... No, not gonna be an Expo deck. It could maybe be like a Graveyard deck. Not really sure, to be honest. I guess we'll find out later. Let's go with the e Spirit here to reset his Little Prince. And then I think I'm just gonna cycle on Ice Spirit. I'm gonna wait and see what he does. If he goes Ability towards the right side, we have Evil Skeletons. If he doesn't, I'm just gonna go with Expo offensively, honestly, because he doesn't... Okay, he does go with Ability. We have the Evil Skeletons there. Let's go with our Expo right away. And let's then go with the e Spirit here to protect it against the Barbell. And that's gonna get a lock on top of the tower. Okay, look to protect it as much as possible. And we already saw that the X-Bow, whenever he poisons plus Barbell, gets a lot of damage, especially if we protect it against the Barbell. Always need to be ready there with the Spirit. And then just like that, we already have his left tower down to 274 HP. So I would say that this matchup is not even that bad for him. We just caught him two times without the Knight. And then, of course, without the Knight in cycle, he doesn't have a great cycle against the X-Bow. So we did, um, yeah, manage to get a lot of damage because of that. Okay, let's go Little Prince up high. Let's again go with e Spirit. I don't know if it's on time. Yeah, a little bit late there with the e Spirit. Anyways, it's fine. We're forcing out a lot of Elixir defensively. And then here, I think we should also be able to trade pretty much all his troops. Besides the Little Prince, we killed, yeah, basically all the troops he used there. Okay, what is he gonna do? Looks like he does go with his ability. Let's then go with a Lock. Let's go with Ice Spirit here. Um, yeah, Evo. And then I'm just gonna go with Skeletus off to the side. And the Evo Ice Spirit should also be able to freeze the Little Prince there. Perfect. Okay, let's go with another Expo offensively. I think he's running Graveyard, by the way. He didn't show it yet. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be a graveyard deck. Okay, let's go with Little Prince here off to the side. Expo is going to go down. But again, he spent a lot of Elixir. For me, it's perfect if he spends this amount of Elixir on defense. Um, even better because this way he cannot really go offensively. And I think in the worst case situation in this matchup, we can just start spell cycling him. Even though we only have Lock, I think the Lock damage here should be able to get quite a lot of damage. He's probably going to go Barbell as well. He's overspending quite a bit against the Expo. Exactly, he's overspending a lot. Um, of the times against the Expo, so that's perfect for us. And at this point, we can just... Okay, let's go with Skeletons here. Let's go with a Little Prince up high, and let's then go with the Expo as well. If he's gonna poison Little Prince, I think he's not gonna have that much Elixir to defend um, the Expo. Okay, maybe I should have predicted the Tesla with something. Anyways, we can go with a look. We're gonna force out something else with the Expo here. In this case, we force out the Knight, so that's perfect. Let's go with Skeletons, and I think... Should I just, like... I think I can just lock Cycle. Even though it's quite a lot of locks, I think it's five locks away... I think we still should be able to cycle really easily because we have a really quick cycle. Like, we can just go look, 
and then all the one elixir cards i'm gonna cycle the little prince to have the three card cycle as i mentioned before and then this should be i would say pretty much good game here unless something crazy happens i think that should be um yeah good game for us guys okay let's go skeletons here let's then go with the evil ice spirit let's go with fire spirit defensively let's cycle lock and we just need one more lock so honestly we can just cycle really quickly as you guys can see uh three card cycle going crazy that's gonna be good game so another w i felt like we should have been 3-0 right now i'm not gonna lie i kind of got salty after game number two but anyways i feel like we're doing a good job so far even though we lost one match um yeah beating those matchups um especially the game number one was really really nice okay looks like we're up against a player with a nice profile he has a top 110 he also says wow so let's give him a good luck and let's see what he's gonna be doing and i'm just gonna start off with expo right away even though it's super aggressive i think it's still um yeah okay to force out something in this case we force out the miner what are you gonna drop tesla or something okay looks like he has executioner wait executioner let's go oh i should have ice spirit a little bit earlier maybe with ice spirit distracting the xe and then with a lock we could have gotten the expo on top of the tower anyways let's just leave it like that he already spent quite a decent amount of elixir okay let's start cycling towards another expo let's go with uh, spirit let's go with another spirit then i'm gonna go with another expo this time offensively towards the right side i wonder if he has a, a building or what is he gonna be running let's go with a uh, little prince here ready looks like he doesn't have a building is it just gonna be like a balloon cycle deck or what is this gonna be okay let's go ice spirit here to protect the expo and he's spending a lot of elixir on defense i feel like we might be able to take advantage here with another expo opposite lane guys let's see what happens let's go with a third expo of today's match um yeah into the left side lane let's then go with evil skeletons here towards the right side just to make sure that we dps down the knight quickly he does go with a lock and then let's go with a lock here as well i don't know what he has in cycle right now i don't think he has the best cycle right now okay let's go heal spirit like this and then we need to prepare against the potential miner okay let's go ice spirit here on defense and then with the dagger dash of course destroying the miner we're gonna be able to get a lot of damage with the expo look at that guy's left side tower is going down so quickly whenever an expo locks on it just deals so much damage it's really satisfying when the expo gets a lock even though sometimes it's kind of hard looks like we were able to yeah, get a really good connection here okay let's go with another expo offensively so far i'm playing really aggressive but honestly it's working out quite well so i think we just gotta keep up yeah being aggressive here Okay, let's go little prince like this and then afterwards i'm gonna go skeletons at the bridge making sure that the dagger dashes and the little prince will be able to dps it down really easily okay what is he gonna do is he gonna support the xc i don't think we need to over defend i think just yeah distracting it with a spirit or maybe even without a spirit i actually don't know because i don't play that much against the um, executioner but i think we already would have been able to defend it quite well okay let's go little prince here he's probably gonna go with another executioner i think i'm just gonna have the lock ready here to cycle let's go with lock and he has a rocket okay wait that's really interesting okay so he has rocket minor cycle and i think he doesn't have a building or what oh wait he just spent the xe there kind of predicting an expo i think we can pressure the right side let's go here with the expo let's then um yeah distract the execution i'm not sure if it gets a shot so just yeah not to risk it i'm gonna go with a lock and then here i'm gonna just let the miner be miner should go down quite fast okay perfect let's see what happens let's go skeletons here is he gonna execution on the right side oh looks like he spends a lock let's go with the expo now and then i don't know what he has in cycle but he definitely spent quite a lot of felix on the right side expo so i think he's gonna have to go with like a last second knight there you go and i think his cycle right now is really bad for the guardian so let's go with ability right away let's go with a prediction lock and hopefully that's able to yeah get a lot of damage on top of the tower let's go skeletons here on the right side to try and take down the knight and then look at the expo guys expo still quite healthy let's go with little prince let's go with ice spirit let's go with lock let's see if this expo can get a shot on top of the tower looks like he does go with a lock but still good amount of pressure um yeah that we are applying and also we got a great amount of damage of course especially because of the yeah, early connection with the expo here okay let's go skeletons like this let's then go with the e-spirit off to the side let's also go with a lock and then hopefully um okay at least if we take down the the exit that will be amazing wait we can actually protect the expo here nice let's go with fire spear please tell me the expo no expo almost gets a lock on top of tower not quite enough but anyway still a really good situation he tries to predict us with the executioner this time we didn't go aggressive with the expo and then now we can just go with expo offensively here with the little prince and then he predicts a rocket oh my god okay that was actually really nice play by us i was not like expecting a prediction rocket but of course there's always the possibility of them going with a rocket there defensively or just in general not um yeah, trying to not give too much rocket value in this case we can go with um skeletons on the right side let's then go with a little prince here as well let's go with heal spirit and at this point i think that our play is just to yeah lock cycle him down even though it's still a lot of hp left i think that's like the the best play we can do in this situation okay let's go Spir uh, ice spirit here let's go with log let's go with skeletons i'm just gonna cycle little prince again opposite lane mainly to start cycling towards the um, evolution and then here we just need to cycle as i said like i don't know how many logs but i'm just gonna cycle as soon as possible guys i think we can cycle really quickly so at this point 
We're just gonna cycle, yeah, all the spirits, all the one elixir cards, and then that should be good game. I don't think he has any time left to be able to, yeah, take down our tower before we cycle a second look. So let's go with the first look. Then we just need to cycle, as, a, as you guys can see, all the one elixir cards, and we cycle back to another look, and that's gonna be another W. What a shame that we lost the second game. I feel like this video should have been a 4-0. Anyways, amazing video. I had a lot of fun. Let me know in the comment section down below what card I should use for a future video. So far, I've done the quickest cycle golem deck. Now we did the quickest cycle expo deck. Maybe in the future, I can do really any idea. Just let me know in the comment section down below what you guys would like to see for a future video. Um, yeah, with this type of video, with this style of video, I, I want to say. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.